Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about Deep Bear Repository. As per the official documentation, a Bear Repository is a repository that does not contain a working directory. By convention, a Bear Repository directory names end with the suffix .git. It will contain .git folder content itself. Now let's see. What does it mean by all of these three sentences? Over here on my left, I have got bare repository, and on my right, it is non bare repository. The first sentence was it does not contain a working directory, a working tree. So, in the terms of git, anything apart from this dot git hidden folder will be considered as a working directory as a working tree so on this non bare repository you will see that over here we have got this working directory working tree whereas in the case of bare repository we do not have any such folders or files second sentence was the bare repository will contain the dot git folder contained itself so if we look at over here uh, in this non bare repository if I go to this dot git hidden folder, you will see that content of this non bare repository and bare repository is more or less similar. Some of the files and folders will not be available in bare repository. For example, this index file or logs folder. Third sentence was the bare repository folder name will have dot git suffix as a convention. So over here, you can see that we have this dot git as the suffix in the name. It is used to serve or host your own git repository. How you can serve or host your own git repository that we will see in the next session. The purpose is to provide distribution or sharing mechanism. So it will work as a central repository for the coordination between the users, software developers, coders, etc. And uh, one thing that it cannot be edited directly but it can be used to push pull fetch commit for these different git related operations by cloning that bare repository into another non bare repository again how it will work we will see in the next session github gitlab bitbucket etc stores a bare repository so whatever the operations you are able to do with all these cloud service providers are based on the bare repository and whenever you clone all those bare repository to your local repository it becomes the non bare repository also with clone option there is a keyword to get bare repository as well that's also we will see in the next session you cannot do normal operations in bare repository like git status, checkout branch name, checkout new branch, git pool. So all these operations are for non bare repository and not for the bare repository. So as I have mentioned earlier that you cannot edit the bare repository directly. Hence, you cannot do such kind of operations on it because it does not contain any working tree information in case uh, if you try to do all such operations you will get an error like what all this operation must be done in a work tree apart from that you will get most of the differences between bare and non bare repository 8 config file dot git refs h this is the folder location at this uh, particular locations logs folder as i have mentioned will not be there in bare repository index file definitely it won't be there in the bare repository. I will go to my uh, bare repository over here. We'll open the command line and over here I will try to do operation like git push and I will get the error that the current branch master has no upstream branch because it is the bare repository itself from where everything will start. So hence uh, it won't have any upstream branch. If I say git pull, we will see the error that please run it in the work tree apart from that the locations where you will get the differences so first is the config file so over here this is the config file of bare repository so you can see that the content of this is limited to only these eight lines 
whereas in the case of non ware repository the content is uh, like this much so where you will get references of fetch push pull and all that stuff like from where it needs to fetch all the details apart from that in this refs case you will find nothing over here whereas in this case refs has you will find the name of the branches and their respective hashes so that is the commit id apart from that uh, you won't have this uh, blocks folder or index file as i have mentioned earlier that's it for the day thank you for watching this video